What's up, guys? Coming to you live from my mom's house in the only quiet room in the whole entire house, but it's also the coldest room in the entire house. So some really interesting stuff uh, has come to my attention. Shout out to my guy, Jeremy Collins, for sharing this with me. There's a new video game coming out called I Am Jesus Christ. And in the video game, you're playing as Jesus Christ. So what we're going to do is we're... <laughs> We're going to watch the preview of this and um, then we're going to we're going to break it down and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. And, and also we're going to read some of the comments in the comment section. But anyway, let's get to it. Many people have attempted to write about the things that have taken place among us. Reports of these things were handed down to us. Finally, we are meeting the Son of God I bet that's who wants to save all humans. But do you know what is waiting for you? Yes, of course. I'm Simon. This is my brother Andrew. We're trying to catch fish. I, I'm afraid the wedding appears to have a small issue. I don't know, but I thought you might be able to help. Oh, now nah, you can turn water to wine. <laughs> That's awesome. This wine is better than the wine we had before. Please, Lord, just heal my son. <laughs> now nah, this healing process is hilarious. Why? Tell me only why you want to save all those humans. You deserve that and believe me that at the end, they will betray you and kill you. Alright, so first off... Why does she say humans? Like she calls people humans. That's pretty weird. I'm assuming that that's Mary, Jesus' mother. But one thing I want to point out is is how she says, you know, they'll betray you and kill you. Now, I like to, uh, I don't really play a lot of video games and just because it's too time consuming. But what I'll do sometimes is watch the movie that like plays along with the video game. For example, the, the Spider-Man game that recently came out a couple years ago. I didn't really play that game. I think I swung through the city like one or twice, once or twice because my brother has has the game. But I watched all of the cut screens that like put the whole movie together and it was a really intense, really good movie. So I've done that with like Batman and, and all these other games. Like I never play them, but I watched the movie because I'm super interested. And that Spider-Man game was, I think, the best Spider-Man movie ever, right? Except maybe for... Uh, the most recent one, um, uh, No Way Home. But anyway, that's besides the point. So this, like, I already know how it ends. You know, I, I got the, I got the book. You know, it tells me how it ends already. Um, so it, it's just interesting um, that uh, they kind of give away the ending in that. Unless I don't know, maybe they surprise us or something. I'm really interested to see like uh, how they flip the whole crucifixion thing uh and like you raise from the dead I'm, I'm just like really interested to see how that works out but uh i know how it worked out in real life granted us our salvation but i'm interested how they're gonna um do it in the video game so before i give you my like full thoughts on this i found right here where i guess this is the uh the people who created the video game they said this it says I Am Jesus Christ is inspired by the New Testament and hopes to spread the gospel uniquely and engagingly. So that's a, I think it's a statement from the uh, people who created the game. So if that's true, and this is designed to help spread the gospel, then I'm all for it. The only issue I have is uh, that word uniquely, you know. Anytime we try to like reinvent how the gospel should be spread. I don't know, it, it just gets kind of weird, you know, like inventing new ways to share the good news with people. The good news is good just by me telling it to you. But, but, with that being said, this don't seem too bad. As long as it's like biblically accurate, I don't know who's, uh, like who's producing this, if they're Protestant, if they're Catholics, you know, I have no idea. Um, 
hopefully it's not like Mormons and like Jehovah's Witnesses and, and all that stuff. Cause then it gets like, you know, it gets, it gets so weird and confusing. And then you go from sharing the gospel in a unique way to sharing a different gospel. So also is this saved by grace through faith alone, or is this going to be saved by grace and a little bit of works? Like what gospel are we talking about? Because you could drift into false gospels by adding works to the gospel. So I just, I'm a little skeptical about it, but I'm all for, you know, Christians uh, doing something to, to try to advance the kingdom. I'm all for it. Now, another thing that I'm like a little hesitant about is, you know, if you've been on my channel for any extended amount of time, you know, I, I discuss the new age a lot and this whole I am Jesus Christ thing, like just saying those words, it just does not feel right because there's a lot of things going around like with Christ consciousness where they believe that everybody is the Christ and the words I am, uh, you know, that turning into affirmations and you say this to yourself in order to attract things from the universe and all of that stuff. So I'm a little bit skeptical. I am a little bit skeptical about, you know, just the title of it. I am Jesus Christ. I don't even like saying it, you know, uh, it feels a little like blasphemy just saying the title of the, um, of the game. So with that being said, if this is biblically accurate, I think it'd be pretty cool. Maybe their intention is because so many kids are just stuck on video games. And video games nowadays are like super violent, super worldly, super crazy. And this this is coming from somebody who grew up on Mortal Kombat. I'm not saying that video games can't be what they are. You know, this isn't me trying to say that. So I, I can appreciate, um, you know, Christians wanting to infuse some Christianity into that realm, be, be some light in the dark. But um, I just... I'm. I hope it's done well. I really do hope it's done well because good intentions, uh, I, I forget who said it, but it's like good intentions pave the road to hell. So hopefully this isn't one of those situations. But I actually saw some of the gameplay. I guess this was released to like certain people a long time ago to, to watch some gameplay. And in it, there's like, I, there's scenes where Jesus is literally like shooting beams of light out of his hands to the devil like at the devil and um this was during his 40 days of fasting in the desert and then you know when satan comes and tempts him towards the end of that so this is him like fighting back and it's like shooting uh <laughs> like iron man pulsers out of his hands like i don't know it's it's pretty weird to me but i i guess they got to do something to spice it up and add a little um artistic freedom in there as long as they don't no, like blasphemy, like I said, no completely derailing from the story or, or telling something that'll uh, hinder the actual spreading of the gospel in the regular way. Uh, I think we'll be all right. So let's let's read some of uh, the description on this site. So one second, let me pull it up. All right, this says, go back in time, 2,000 years, follow the same path as Jesus Christ from his baptism to the resurrection. Inspired by the New Testament stories, I am Jesus Christ is a simulation like no other. Are you prepared to fight with Satan in the desert, cure the sick, and help the needy? Perform over 30 iconic miracles from the feeding of the 5,000 and healing lepers to the calming of the sea and giving sight to the blind. This sounds like uh, like a promotion on the Sid Roth It's Supernatural show, Demon Slayers. Recharge the Holy Spirit's power through prayer as brand new concepts work in conjunction with timeless tales. I Am Jesus Christ is inspired by the New Testament and hopes to spread the gospel uniquely and engagingly. That's a little funny though, uh, like recharge the Holy Spirit's power through prayer. Yeah? I guess we get a refilling of the Holy Spirit and uh, <laughs> when we pray, but um, like I don't know the the whole re recharging uh, the Holy Spirit thing, like making this video game ish, is uh, a little weird to me. But I I guess I guess you know every single day I ask God God fill me with the Holy Spirit, fill me with Your Spirit, because I want to be filled to the brim with the Holy Spirit. I want to be recharged. I do. I want to be recharged so I can shoot pulsar lasers out of my hand like a Holy Spirit Iron Man. Save lives and souls. Journey through over 10 hours of gameplay across the desert, water, and mountains 
all culminating to the famous story of Christ's crucifixion and resurrection. Oh, it shows that in three days. That's funny. All right, let's 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 read some of the comments. Hopefully no one spoils the ending. Yeah, too late on that one. Finally, a game where rising from the dead over and over makes sense. The only video game Ned Flanders would ever get for his kids. The tool tip, you are out of Holy Spirit energy, has me rolling. So that right there is something that I would say is not biblical. Um, if you are Jesus Christ, you don't like run out of Holy Spirit energy and just saying like holy spirit energy the holy spirit is a person he's the third person of the trinity that's a little bit that's a little bit weird to me i'm gonna buy this game for my brother he doesn't play video games but he's a huge jesus fan shout out to your brother <laughs> it was about time the book had a video game adaptation <laughs> he died for our sins now he wants revenge the only game where there are no cheat codes but miracles can't wait for the sequel. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hopefully there are multiple endings. <laughs> Finally something to play in church. Nailed it. <laughs> I feel so bad for laughing at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who's going to comfort me when the game tells me I'm out of Holy Spirit? <laughs> this game can't get anything less than a 10 out of 10 commandments. Graphics and character animations look right for the time period. <laughs> this one says, I'm buying it. Me too. I think I'm going to buy it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you want to check out what my boy Jeremy Collins thinks of this, click right here. And if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. God bless.